First word is asawa. Asawa ko nakatira sa Canada. Oh, good. Now there's a twist. <laughs> I haven't okay. told you there's a twist. <laughs> you have to include the first and the second word in one sentence. Okay. All right. Second word. This is easy. Anak. Asawa ko mayroong dalawang anak. Oh, magaling. Number three, alaga. Um, dalawang anak. Uh, hindi alaga kasi hindi time mag, uh, mag alaga. Yeah, that's it. Ah, so, ang asawa mo at anak hindi nag-aalaga ng, let's say, aso. What is aso? Dog. Dog, All right. So, hindi nag-aalaga kasi, what is no or without? Uh, walang. Wala. So, walang. What is time again? In Tagalog? Oras. Walang oras. So, ang asawa at anak ko ay hindi nag-aalaga kasi walang okay. oras. <laughs> no, it's getting harder. This will be your yeah. first word. <laughs> oh boy. I gotta write oh it down. <laughs> asawa, anak, alaga. Okay. Fourth word is trabaho. Trabaho? Mm-hmm. Trabaho. And I gotta put these all together. Uh, I trust in you. <laughs> ang asawa ko at ang anak hindi ag- ala- alaga aso kasi walang oras at trabaho ako. Amazing. So, ang asawa at anak ko, you can just put single ko. And okay. put at in between asawa and anak. At is end. Yeah. Ang asawa okay. at anak ko ay hindi yeah. nag-aalaga. You can just change the <laughs> ang to nang hindi nag-aalaga ng aso. Kasi walang oras at what is has or have or there is? My or my wrong. Correct. Kasi walang oras at may trabaho ako. Let's see if you will still be able to insert the fifth word. Five. <laughs> Pilipina. Pilipina. Ang asawa ko ay Pilipinas at ang anak ko ay hindi Nag alaga ng aso kasi walang oras at my trabaho ako. Nice. You can say, ang asawa kong Pilipina, my Filipina wife. Okay. Actually, I think I got that here. I just can't read my own writing. <laughs> ang asawa kong Pilipina, ang anak ko ay hindi Nagalaga ng aso kasi walang oras at my trabaho ako. Wow! <laughs> Amazing how you were able to put all five words in one sentence. Oh my gosh. 